Let's discuss that epic, delicious, tasty treat cheat day. It's like Blue's Clues. Metal time! You know, just your standard, just your standard Puff and Big Rate Mail. What is this? Savage Race? They have like, it's like Ninja Warrior. Whoa, this is really cool. It's one in Boston. Whoa. When is the Boston one? 7 July 15th? Wow. Oh, I won't be. Actually, I'll be in Boston. Wow. I'm going to have to look into this a little bit deeper. Now, it's pretty cool. Okay. I'm not trying to be a jerk face and be like, oh, send me some cool stuff in the mail. But. If you want to send me some cool stuff in the mail, then you can. Um, just send it to CrossFit Invigorate 5 Custom Drive, Old Sabre, Connecticut, 06475. So check this out. Oh, what is that? Can you see that, Jennifer? What does that say right there? Can you see it? Human Resources at Halo, Halo Top wait. Creamery. Halo Top Creamery. Uh, so what we got here, someone hit me up and said, we love your stuff. And I said, who doesn't, girl? Well, we got here some golden ticket for some free ice cream. So I'll be eating ice cream all next weekend, baby. Okay. Pull in. Pull You're in. You're not going to close the mailbox door? Back up. Back up. Watch. I'll hit it on the fly. Ready? Bing! I like to, I like to slide into the DMs backwards. Oh, my God. Same. Hopefully, I don't have the garage door. Oh my, whoa, hey now, rough ride. It's a bumpy road. It's a turn, babe. Right. Alrighty then. Bumblebee tuna. End scene. Yeah, fill me up, girl. Fill me up. Fill me up, girl. Hello, sensor. Sensor sensor activated. How about sensor deactivated? What's up with that? You just no overflow protection? <laughs> LK, okay, LK, okay. I'm just talking to the people. So since today is Monday, post cheat day, I uh, got a lot of carbohydrates in the system. So it's a good kind of pump day. I'm gonna go three quarters of scoop of, yeah, buddy. This is like, Chris just got this a week and a half ago. We're almost out already. So if anybody's got any recommendations for some good pre-pre, I'd like to get a little hybrid of performance pre-pre and a pump pre-pre. But, I'm gonna drink this. We gonna drink this. And we gonna work out, and I'm gonna get so fucking swole, you ain't even know who it is. You're gonna say, oh, who is this? Ronnie Coleman over here? Hell yeah, baby. God. Did I say that you could wear pink on the day that I wear pink? Did I say you could wear pink on the day I wear pink? Garbage. <laughs> I'm an athlete, I can do whatever I want. Yeah, okay. Girl, I'm an athlete. I'm an athlete. I'm an athlete. Look at my dance. Look at my dance moves. Ready? Dance moves. One, two. Right at the wedding. Here I am. One, two. One, two. That's all I gotta do. One, two. One, two, and one, two, one, two, and point, and point, and point, and point, and point, and one, two, one, two. Shake my hips, shake my hips, shake my hips. That's it, that's all I gotta do. Okay, drink the pre-pre even though I'm feeling hyped up already. And then uh, I'm gonna get that pump. Girl, I'm gonna get that pump, girl. What you gonna do? You wanna get that pump with me? Wanna pump, wanna pump, 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 look. Shoulder pump, shoulder pump, shoulder pump. Okay, let's go. Get back here. Hey, 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 hey. Babe, these these pies are fifty percent off, so we might as well we might as well get one, right? Get get a couple of them. Just a couple. Go to sign them in. No one will even know. Shh, shh, shh. Little mushrooms, two potatoes, apples, but you know you gotta get other sources of carbohydrates. So I mean, if we get a couple of these cookies. Maybe some of these cupcakes. No? Maybe next time? Okay. Maybe next time. Or some lemon. I mean, we could just get one. It'd be okay. We could just get one. What do you get, 
Uh, this is not what it looks like. Uh, that's not what it looks like. I just wanted a little bit of birthday cake, baby. Um, pickles. Like, oh, pickles. I like pickles. Go I mean, not those kind of pickles. Wait, whoa. Pickles, 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 pickles. Look at all these pickles, Jennifer. You can choose from all of these varieties. Yeah, but everybody knows Velasic's the best. That, what'd you just say? Velasic. What's Velasic? That's not how you say this. Yes. Velasic? That's how you say Velasic. it? All right. Um, Ooh, bread and butter. Two, sure two for four. These are three. Buy one, get one free. Zesty, zesty bread and butter pickles. Uh, pickles are pretty good for snacking because, oh, these ones have nine carbs in them. Yeah, but those are the zesty ones. What about bread and butter? Five carbs. Well, not too bad. I can, I can snack on a whole zesty jar if I wanted. Deal. Wow, look at this. You get a whole pickle. This is one. This is, look at it. This entire pickle, one carb. Babe, this is a two for three dollars, so oh buy two get one. Buy two get two free. So grab a couple of those. What are you doing? There's a there's a full cart of groceries in here. It's your job to put it in the car. Because I'm a man? Yeah. Alright, I'll take that. Because I'm a man, baby. <laughs> no big deal, grocery haul guys. Good thing I've been doing all this bodybuilding. Do curls for days. You know, everyone's been commenting like, oh God, Rob, Rob's arms are so big. He's so jacked. Who says oh that? God. Nobody said that yet. <laughs> okay, guys. It's all right. You don't want to support my gains. You don't want to say, hey, Rob, you're doing really good on this cut. Your arms look so good. So muscular. What about those calves? Look at calves. Wait, wait, wait. Set. Set. <laughs> ah, ah. Burnout. Burnout set. You know, dude, get the backpack on. Because there's, because there's like, I look like a little kid going to school. You do. Got my backpack, and I'm gonna take myself. Grocery haul number two. So, uh, pretty basic stuff. Almost like the same stuff we got last time, but real quick run through. Protein for this week. We still have some chicken in the fridge, but uh, this is uh, boneless center cut pork chops, it was buy one get one free, so we got those, and these are center cut uh, pork sirloins. So a little more fat in these, and then we got boneless skinless chicken breast. So uh, a little more fat in these, no fat in these pretty much. Uh, that's the protein, got some eggs, we already have some eggs in the fridge. Jennifer's been eating these, which are kind of creepy, but uh, the tuna pouches. Um, Vegetables, so we've got some mushrooms, and then we just had to go steam bag vegetables, which I'm kind of not a fan of because it kind of creeps me out, right? But, um, what is this? Pot roasted potato and green beans, um, corn, medley, uh, mushrooms and peas, uh, Brussels sprouts, and chicken flavored rice, a bunch of green apples. A bunch of pickles, a bunch of pickle heads over here. Uh, and then I got some granola, which I snack on for my carbs since I'm eating like 400 grams. Some salsa for our eggs. Schweit potatoes. Now last time, we got two potatoes. Um, I put them up in this cabinet and then I totally forgot about them. I opened up the cabinet to get some granola and the brownest, most green, moldy potato came out. So I need to put these on the counter so I don't forget. Uh, we got some sauce, which we don't usually put sauce on anything, but mango coconut habanero. So per serving, one gram of fat, 13 carbs. So not too bad. And then sweet chili Thai sauce uh, for some rice. Uh, this has more carbs, I think. 11 carbs, not bad. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, Diet is the same, eating the same foods, low fat, high carb, moderate proton. But I'm um, gonna put this away, and then we're gonna take them on a little trippy trip. Jennifer, we're gonna go for a little walk, take the trash out, show them the trash can, <laughs> and then we're gonna, they're gonna be warm. Rob. Who eats a warm pickle? Oh my God, who eats a warm pickle? That's so gross. Um, we're gonna show them, we're gonna walk around a lot. We haven't like given you guys like a tour-ish yet. So we'll give you a little tour update and then uh, I'll show you the sunset. <laughs>
Ever been on a romantic walk to the trash before? I'll show you guys. Girl, I'm gonna show you where I take out my trash, girl. You're so weird. I mean, it's weird. You're never getting them a grand tour. Anyways, so we live in this unit up there, right? And all these units, the units down there, they're building some garages. So currently, our backyard is a construction zone. But um, the main reason we picked this location wasn't because of the view, obvious view of this train station. But Jennifer was like, Argh, because we have like a corner unit. But um, the one bonus is this is the only trash on the whole property. And I wanted a unit that was all the way on the other side. That would near a graveyard, and that would mean I would have to walk all the way over here to the, throw the trash. So it's kind of like a no-brainer, because who wants to walk around with trash? Also, it's super easy for me to hop on the train. But there's our little pool that they just filled up. So it's a tiny pool, but I mean, sun, sunbathe, get the rays going, and then they're building this like cookout station over here for like a grilling bar. So, when I want a steak dinner, I say, hey, Jennifer, get the f over to the kitchen and, and make me a goddamn steak. So, there's gonna be like a whole kitchen in here with grills, so that'll be pretty cool. I think they're putting TVs up there. Yeah. So this would be like a nice little gazebo, a little steak dinner. Steak dinner. Oh, they must open these doors too. Steak yeah. dinner and uh, a little lay by the pool in the summer. Guys, it's gonna be great. Uh, but this is the main clubhouse. This is where we do our cardio. Um, so I think we can rent this out for like parties, right? Yeah. But this is oh yeah, this is what it's gonna look like right here. That's gonna be like the other end. So there's gonna be a pool. We're little, gonna finish the dog. You know, park. with a little grill and a bar, dog park. We don't have a dog, but we will. Want to play me in this game? Cause I'll own you. Oh, foosball. Foosball, little lounging area, gigantic um, Scrabble board. This would be great with a couple of cervezas, you know? I know, we should do that. Awesome. Um, but you can like come in here in the morning, do some, I could like come in here, edit a video. They have a Starbucks machine in there. Um, but, anyone in here? Nobody's ever in here. This is our little clubhouse workout area. So, I'm gonna actually come in here, like when we do the cardio in the morning, I'm gonna do like a little, couple of little sets, do some abs or something. But, cable machine. <laughs> I get my flies going in here, get the, get the pecs check going. Out, check out the, mu the muscles, the guns. Gun yeah, show? You need, you need tickets to this gun show. Ta! Ha! Is it on sale? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> um, dumbbells, med balls, machine, machine, leg extension, leg curl, cardio stuff. So, it's pretty, you know, decently equipped. For what we pay, yeah. You know, free, free, it's a free gym membership here. Uh, ooh, got the chicken and the peppers, onions, and mushrooms. Oh yeah, that's gonna be delicious. All right, so about to eat dinner, but I'm gonna do a weigh-in. It's Monday, 8 p.m. basically, so, uh, we went fasted pretty much all day today. All I had was a protein shake with water at uh, 2 p.m. Uh, but I'm gonna weigh in and show you what I weigh. Take a guess. Take a guess how much I weigh. This morning I weighed 192.5. 189.2 pounds! You know, that's how you do it, folks. You. I mean, it, the, everyone thinks that you do these crazy cheat days, you're gonna be fat forever, you're never gonna lose all the weight. I lost, so again, I was 201.4 pounds last night at 8 p.m. So 12, or 24 hours later, I'm 189 pounds. So I lost basically 11 pounds in 24 hours. So you're not gonna get fat forever, guys. It's just a little bit of water, a little sodium blow, but that's the, cheat day update. I'll update you guys tomorrow, uh, but let's eat some dinner, because I'm starving. Yeah. White rice, some chicken. Oh man, that is dynamite. Yeah. Ooh. 
It's got a little kick, like a little habanero kick. Ooh. Oh, it's got a good like kick. That. Damn, that's good. Okay, gonna eat dinner, relax, and then I'll catch up with you guys in the morning, but it's okay, one more bite. Go Bruins! What is that, football? Touchdown. We're in the Stanley Cup from the past. Touchdown. Hole in one. I don't watch, I don't watch sports. They are finally planting some trees out there. Making all sorts of ruckus though. Let's discuss that epic, delicious, tasty treat, cheat day. So the cheat day was on Easter Sunday, but to prep for the cheat day, uh, usually I don't do this, but I did it this time. Saturday, we fasted starting at noon. So I basically had like 2,000 calories on Saturday. Um, Jennifer had like roughly like 1,000. Um, we were doing a fitness expo. We were really busy all day. We had lunch at noon and then we started our fast. So we fasted from noon all the way till 6.30 in the morning. So that's uh, almost 19 hours of fasting. So that was our preparation. We fasted a lot. Uh, then we had are amazing I mean it was so delicious the anticipation leading up to the cheat day was was so high too but uh, the cheat day was so delicious um, but yeah so as you saw I gained 15 15 pounds uh, and this is where people get really confused they think that 15 pounds that's body fat and it's not body fat I just ate 15 pounds of food and water so just that just that weight gain is food and water. It's not body fat. It's physically impossible for your body to gain that much body weight uh, in a single day. Okay, so hopefully, I'm gonna put a picture right now. This is me at, um, on Saturday, 188 pounds. So 188 pounds, I was super lean on Saturday. Uh, this is Saturday morning. Now, this next picture, hopefully I can do side by side. Uh, that's 201.4 pounds like so much blue you can kind of still see my abs and everything which is funny but um and then in the next photo i'll put uh the morning monday morning which i was a hundred and actually yeah 192 pounds yeah uh, 192 pounds so uh should be wait hold on if you're looking at this 187 uh 201.4 192 now monday um, I, so, as you saw in the video, I weighed in Monday night, 189 pounds. So I was already down 11 pounds within 24 hours. Today, Tuesday, I woke up at 187.5 pounds. So I actually lost 0.5 pounds and it was, it's only Tuesday. So usually by Saturday, I'll lose like that whole half pound or full pound. Um, so I'm ahead of schedule actually, which is surprising because with that huge cheat day, um, it didn't affect me at all. I just showed my gum. Um, but everyone asked, is asking in the comments below, how did you feel? Um, did you feel awful the next day? Blah, 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 blah. So after the cheat day, I had like a huge surge of energy. Like I was so hyper. And I think you could tell in the clips. Uh, I had so much energy on Monday. I felt refreshed, like rejuvenated. I felt really, really good. Today, I still feel really good. Uh, and I'm leaner. So all in all, don't be afraid of cheat days. Uh, yes, you can go overboard, right? Uh, you can gain some weight and you can do the seesaw effect. But like you saw, hopefully if you saw the weight loss transformation story, now you can understand why I can do these crazy cheat days. I used to be 275 pounds. I used to have a big old belly and I still have that expanded stomach from trying to um, be 275 pounds. So. So, like I said in yesterday's video, I was eating 7,000 calories a day just on the regular. So my stomach is used to a lot of food. And then on the carbonate diet, I utilize cheat days. So this is kind of how my cheat days uh, started. And that, so yeah, basically I've been doing cheat days on the weekends since I was 24. So for three years, I've been doing cheat days on the weekends. So I think my body's just accustomed to like, it knows every Saturday that 
get ready. He's gonna pound us with food. Um, but yeah, so you're, ne you're not gonna gain body fat overnight. It's physically impossible. All in all, it was a great cheat day. I might do another cheat day this weekend because this is what I have left. <clears throat> All this food, okay? I still have this massive Easter bunny. Like, look how, look how big this thing is. Um, I think if I eat this whole thing, it's like 5,000 or 4,000 calories. So I have this giant Easter bunny, right? Jennifer still didn't eat her Jeff uh, Easter bunny. Uh, I got some Oreos, I got Oreo egg. I got this massive uh, Ferrara Ro Rocher. Um, still the Oreo Crunch Bar. A bunch of Cadbury eggs, this is full of candy. So, um, it's, you, you know when you're on a diet, it's terrible to have these things in house. So I think I might just clear this out, eat this on Sunday, and then, um, the following weekend do if it fits your macros, but I don't know. Comment down below if you want to see another epic cheat day because I'll do it. I'll do it for you guys, but I'll also do it for me. <laughs> um, Tasty Treat t-shirts uh, are in. I will show you guys that tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video will be more of a workout video. So comment, like, subscribe, ask any questions down below, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.